Hey everyone, welcome back to another flight review where today we'll be flying on Alaska Airlines or more commonly known as that one airline with the Eskimo looking dude on the tail. Today we are flying from Seattle to Los Angeles. Now I know a lot of international viewers must be thinking, how are you flying Alaska Airlines from a city not in Alaska to another city also not in Alaska? Welcome to American Aviation, where we also have an airline called Sun Country that has its headquarters in a place that is definitely not from the sun part of the country. In any case, back to the current flight. Currently, I'm walking towards the D and N concourses here at Seattle, where Alaska's flights leave from. In particular, I'm making my way over to the N concourse, where Alaska has a brand new flagship lounge that is really really pretty and has amazing views. Once you take the underground train to concourse and there are two ways to make your way up to the lounge. You can either do it the normal way a human would which is by elevator or you can be like me and take the stairs and convince yourself that you exercise for the day. The Alaska Lounge is free to access for all first class passengers, Admirals Club members, Alaska Lounge members and now that Alaska is a new member of the One World Alliance, One World, Emerald and Sapphire members are also allowed to use this lounge even on an economy class ticket. The lounge entrance itself is actually quite beautiful and there was a small way to get in but beyond that we were on our way. Now onto our lounge tour. The lounge was quite big and there was a lot of things going on over here. As soon as you enter the lounge there's kind of a nice little sofa area with the fireplace on the inside of it. The fireplace wasn't on this time but I've seen it used before. On the right side are probably the best seats in the entire lounge which face the tarmac and over here on the left there is a fire extinguisher simply because the views are just that hot. Beyond this side over here at the end of the lounge you have pretty much more tarmac views and more seating facing the tarmac and quite frankly every one of these seats were taken and I really did not get the chance to sit at these seats. On the inside over here there's kind of boot style seating which are pretty optimal for families I would say or maybe other large groups. These are pretty much the main relaxing places. On this side of the lounge, you have where all the food and drinks are. On this left side over here, there are some hot drinks of all kinds. Teas, coffees, uh, drinks, anything you'd want. And then over here are pretty much the food items. Most of them are self-served, though some of them have to be served to you uh, by a uh, lounge attendant. As I was relaxing, I chose to drink some mint tea, which is perfect for people like me who talk too much. On the other hand, if you're the opposite of me, on the other side of this lounge over here, there's soft drinks and there's a bar as well for those who do not talk enough to get them chatting a little bit more. Over here, there's also a lot of table side seating and a lot of other high top tables and more high top tables along the window with power ports as well. I chose to sit here simply because there were good views of the tarmac from where I was sitting. In particular, from my seat, I had views of an Alaska Airlines A320 as well as a Boeing 737-800, also Alaska Airlines, in new colors. Or in other words, the Eskimo Dude Airline. At this point, it was pretty much time to head back to the D concourse where my flight to Los Angeles was leaving from. As always, I like to get a good picture beforehand, but this lounge seems to be blocking my view of the aircraft. I couldn't get a clean view. So what better to do than just to enter the lounge? Sounds pretty pretentious, but there was the only way I could get a good view of this aircraft, and it was quite a good view. And since I was in first class indeed on Alaska, all I had to do was scan my boarding pass and I was let in. This lounge at the D concourse was pretty basic, was definitely not as nice as the N concourse lounge, but it was functional and I guess it serves for those who have their gates right next to this one. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed my little dance around the airport and hope you guys enjoy the onboard experience. Cheers!